Kristen Hildebrand from Orem, Utah, and I'm an outside hitter. Kristen, we have the USA Volleyball Cup coming up here in July. Mm -hmm. What's it like when you hear the words Brazil Volleyball? What do you think of? Well, I uh, actually just got back from playing in Brazil. I was there for the last six months, and I had the opportunity to play for uh, Zé Roberto, who's the, the head national team coach of the women's team and has been for a while now, and he's won, uh, he's won three gold medals um, with, uh, with that team. And so that was quite a special experience, uh, learning and playing under him. Um, and I also had a wonderful experience playing in that country. Uh, they just they love volleyball so much down there. Um, and everyone's really passionate about the sport. It's just a really wonderful atmosphere to play in. And uh, so that's a little of what comes to mind. Um, and obviously we have our USA Cup coming up versus Brazil, which is going to be so much fun. Um, we're, we're in here every single day. We're, we're grinding and we're getting after it. And uh, yeah, we're, we're doing our best to prepare for those matches. Um, and uh, as you guys probably know, Brazil is number one in the world, um, and we're number two. And uh, actually, I had a conversation with Zay um, over the course of uh, it, was, it was a couple weeks before I left uh, to come back to the states, and it was just talking about the national team and the, and the cup, and you know their travel plans and all that. And and he ended the conversation saying, "USA is our our biggest problem," you know. But you know, as a member of the USA team, Brazil is who we want to beat too, you know. So there's a big rivalry there, and and uh, a lot of fire for, for both sides to, to win these matches. So, because we see them in every major international competition. Um, we'll see them in the Grand Prix, we'll see them at World Champs, uh, at least this year and then moving forward all the way into World Cup and hopefully the Olympics. Do you still keep in contact with some of the players uh, on the Brazil national team that you play with your club? Yeah, uh-huh. I made some great, great friends when I played down in Brazil. Um, in general, the, the people are just really wonderful and warm and those girls really accepted me. I was the only foreigner and the only American um, on the team, and uh, a few of them play on the national team, so I just got to see them in Montreux, and um, yeah, they're just the best. They're, they're awesome girls, and we keep in contact. Yeah, we talk all the time. What's it gonna feel like when you get on the opposite side of the net now? Yeah, uh, gosh, playing as Brazil is always such an exciting experience. Um, First of all, because they're, they're number one and we're number two, we want to prove that we're better and that we deserve that ranking spot. Um, and we, we believe that we can be number one in the world. We're good enough and we're training hard yeah. enough. Um, and so, so you know, that's, that's running through my heart and my mind and my body as, as we're preparing for these matches and, and uh, getting ready to play. Um, and uh, what else? I don't know. What would you tell someone on the um, street that may not know about the rivalry and everything? What would you tell them to, you got to come see these matches. What's the lure to that? Is it just the number one versus number two? Is it the passion that Brazil will Yeah, have? I would say that absolutely. It's number one versus number two in the world, and that's going to be a lot of high-level volleyball. Um, but also that Brazil has beat us in the, the, the finals of the last two Olympics. And, uh, and we're hungry. We're hungry to beat them. So...